So I've been working in a scenario here where I wanted to bridge a Windows machine here across a router so that it can gain access to my main network and generate some data on that. And the main reason I needed to do this is I needed to generate a NetFlow data um, without the need for any appliances. So what I've done is I've bridged my GNS3 network here with VMware and I'm using VMware Workstation on my laptop here. So a couple of steps. So firstly, we need to create a GNS3 net topology here. And I've added a router. I've also added the cloud here and the first cloud for configuration is bridged to my LAN connection. So it's my actual Ethernet interface on my laptop. Okay, so that's onto the LAN. So that now creates a bridge between my LAN and this virtual router. I've then, on the other side of the router here, the second Ethernet interface, I've configured a separate network, in my case 10.2.2.2.0, and I connected to a switch. I could have actually probably connected directly to the cloud here, but it just gives you more options here with a switch. Now, what I was messing around with, I could add a QEMU guest here. Um, it's running tiny Linux, I think, or micro Linux, one of them. But I just felt it was a bit limited. So what I've done then is I have added a second cloud here. And I'll come back to the config of that. Because the next step, what you need to do is set up your VMware environment. So let's go in there. And you need to click on Edit, Virtual Network Editor. So what I've gotten here is that my the default tree uh, networks that's created when you install Workstation or VMware Player, uh, NAT host only and bridge. So I've been messing around here at the host only network, which is 10.2.2.0. Well, I've changed the IP actually of the host only network to 10.2.2.0 slash 24 network. So that's all set up. And then back on my GNS tree topology on the second cloud here, that is mapped to that network, which is um, the VM1, which is the um, host only VM network. So that's mapped to that. So now that, that creates a bridge between this virtual network, which is host only, which now is also connected to this cloud here. So on the desktop, in here, I have set it to use the IP address. So on my config in here, I'll just show you it. It's properties. So this is the same 10.2.2.0.100 network. So I'm using 10.2.2.1 as my default gateway out of this network, and that is the other interface here. So that that Ethernet interface there. If I go in, is um, 10.2.2.1. So now what I've got is my VM workstation, which can see obviously this diagram, which is here. It's connected by this cloud. It's it's been routed onto the LAN through this router here. So this is now spewing out uh, NetFlow data, which is perfect. It's what what I need for testing. Now this setup has lots of other uses. It just means that you can use um, a much a bigger type of desktop client instead of using a, a you know just a Linux kernel, um, you can use a tick client, maybe a Windows desktop, or whatever you want to do. File shares, if you want to test file shares across a router or whatever. All you need to do is create two clouds, run bridges to the LAN, one bridges to your host only VM network, and you're up and running. So just a little bit there that you can do with GNS3, VM VMware, and just bridging networks.